Hello, YouTube. I am Pat, and I drew Ian and Anthony of Smosh in honor of their reunion. Check it out. So just for a quick introduction, I have always been a huge Smosh fan. Uh, watched them growing up, but I also drew a lot growing up. So why am I drawing them? What happened? Well, their video, We Bought Smosh, should be able to tell the whole story much better than I can. But anyways, this news got me instantly excited to start drawing a portrait. Now I know what you're thinking. Exactly what qualifications do I possess to draw these two YouTube legends? Well, let's jump right into them. So the truth is, I am not a professional, nor do I have any formal training whatsoever. But drawing's always been a huge hobby of mine, and I got a bit more serious about it during the pandemic, during which I clearly lost my mind, as made evident by the portraits you are seeing here. But with that said, let's get started. So I began the process by creating a grid to help with accuracy, and my main tools of the trade will be these General's Charcoal Pencils. So we're starting here on the left with Anthony, drawing his jawline which is not going to cause me any problems at all, and the outline of his hair. Starting with his facial features, I draw his eye, making him look like some sort of cartoon character. Then I start up his nose, taking great care to include a bling! Then his mouth, which also will not cause me any problems. Some more tools of the trade are these mechanical erasers and blending stumps. Already having to correct some mistakes on his ear, I finish that up. Then I get to shading his face. I sand off some darker charcoal I'd left on it from a drawing before, and we're back in business. Now, there's no real rhyme or reason as to how I decided to shade everything, but here's the process. I should also mention that I basically never cry at anything. Well, okay. But anyways, this news. This news? But anyways, back to the drawing. Now here's the first time I used the mechanical part of my mechanical erasers to add in some glare to his eye. Now at this point, I decided to erase the grid lines. And it's great when it works, because look what happens when it doesn't. But anyways, I digress.
Now here's the fun part, where I really start filling in Anthony's hair. Though I kind of miss when it looked like this. Now here I use the mechanical eraser again to create a glaring effect for Anthony's cheek, which for a bit kinda maybe looks like warts. But a bit of work with the blending stump helps it look relatively human again. Now, another thing that's changed about Anthony since the old days of Smosh, on top of the hair and the nose bling, are these tattoos. And I know I'm only drawing a bit, but still pretty cool. And voila, Anthony is done. Now it should be obvious that I decided to draw Anthony first because now on this side when I draw Ian, I won't have to worry about my hand smudging on anything. Now I will say, I appreciate Ian's glasses, they do look cool, but they were definitely a pain to work around.
Now then, my favorite part of drawing Ian is definitely this. There have been times where Ian's beard has gotten to almost red level. Now, after erasing the grid lines between Ian and Anthony, I started to notice that something about Anthony's mouth was throwing me off. So I revisit him for the last time, and then move on to Ian's hair.
Now, at this point, it looked pretty much done to me, but the area around Ian's eyes needed a bit more shading. Same with Anthony. Uh, needed to get a bit darker around these kinds of areas, and especially around his cheek. So I decided to go over it again with my darker pencils. And there we have it. Now as a final sort of litmus test, I decided to mirror the image to see if I could identify anything that was off. And lo and behold, Anthony's mouth, chin, and jawline were my main suspects. So, after some final additional cleanup, the picture is finito. So, I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison here in post to identify where I might have flubbed on accuracy. And yeah, after all that talk about wanting to add in enough shading, I still didn't get enough depth on Anthony's face or on Ian's forehead. I think I made Anthony's eyes a bit too buggy as well. But anyways, you live and you learn. Alright, thank you so much for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video as much as I like making it. And leave a comment down below if you're also a Smosh fan, what was your favorite classic Smosh video? Um, I know for me it's probably Hardcore Max! So yeah, let me know what yours is, and I'd just like to make it clear, if you came to my channel because of some weird videos of characters eating food, don't worry, those are still coming out, but making an art video has always been something I wanted to try. Um, but the next time this might happen, uh, whoever I'm drawing probably won't have as normal of a face as Ian and Anthony here. So stay tuned on that. So thanks again for watching. This is Pat, signing off. But you gotta look out for yourself. You like... don't owe them. Shh. Don't. You're also just telling them the truth.